the for the rough weather outside. I'm gonna finish. Well, I'm not finish. I'm gonna work on the boat. What do you have there? With the pressurized system, this is agri net, this is for farming. So as soon as you say it's for yachting and it's expensive, if you go to the farming guys, this looks very similar to the brand name. Looks like it works though, so it should be okay. No, it should be nice, it's got like a filter here where you can check. And there's no dirty seawater coming in. We're going to put this on the pressurized side. We're going to first have the foot pump. And then the pressure pump. So if we've got electricity, we'll have pressurized water. If the electricity is finished, we can still operate the, the foot pump and then we'll have some salt water for washing dishes, rinsing, cooking. The compost toilet, cleaning that out. The summer's here. We got a fan in here. Sounds like a helicopter engine. <laughs> And then uh, we just have the pressure pump just put in there now. Uh, we're just going to clean up that pipe and connect it. That one runs through to the bathroom. Plumbing the Funnel Bell Parkway. Oh, <laughs> you too. We bought. A Ryobi uh, uh, grinder and a, a Ryobi drill and the batteries and then we're also going to get the high pressure uh, washer and uh, we've got additional charger and battery as well and a vacuum cleaner and a vacuum cleaner they've got all the lacquer things there at Ryobi and then we'll use that at the, on the boat so uh, anybody from Ryobi is listening sponsorship would be greatly appreciated <laughs> Just an extra battery even. <laughs> Whatever. This pipe we rooted through the steel. There was already existing holes. You can see. Moved it through. The least amount of connections possible. Under the sink is the compost toilet. In here. Now I'm going to split it for the basin and the bathroom. And uh, that'll be the, the extra hole for it. And then I'm gonna route it through there to the back of the boat. To the back of the boat so we have water back there for that hole. Some additional pipe. So I'm quickly gonna start installing the water to the back. It would have been easier to start on the other side. Huh. What I actually want to do is I want to maybe put an elbow in here and then run it up along up along this ridge. Maybe put a couple of holes through there to keep it in place. Elbow in, support running. Just waiting for the paint to dry there before I put it up there. And here as well. What are we having for lunch? Fish. Fish. And beer. <laughs> In. I just gotta put it into position and prevent it from chafing down there. I hear a scratching in the back. I think it's we got a stowaway. Somebody in the hobbit house. Hey, what's happening here? You got me. So after all that shenanigans, 
we decided we're gonna scrap it. We're gonna put a hole in here and then uh, just have this fitting on the outside and this stop on the inside. But uh, I guess that's for another video. Everything is connected and ready in here. Just put the sink up and connect them through this little hole there. And then that's it. Our plumbing is done. We can test it. Sink was leaking. So we just uh, added some, um, not silicone, but uh, I can't remember the name now. Just to seal it, waiting for that to dry. And we'll put that in tomorrow. What do you have there? Like, right, we pressure washer just bought for the boat. Watch for all the fish guts and all the grime stuff. So the first job is to clean the engine before we put it in. So as you can see the engine's been sitting outside since we stripped it out, which is about how long is it now? About two, three years. Outside, so now it's full of dust and stuff. So let's see how clean how good this looks. Hey, you plug some. <laughs> Sorry. So you get the, the most of the dust and stuff off, and then we put some degreaser on and see if we can get it off. I my motor that we got with it, but it, it ran well when I used it on the dam. So hopefully it's going to be alright for us. See you around next time.